paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain life. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, we egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, strange, politically incorrect. Your style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you to be to the, the fullest. fullest. This is the basis of our justice system, and it begins in the home. What you find in people is that this punishment system which you first see in the home the punishment which the parents or the caregivers or society inflicts on the children for them doing something which is considered bad begins to be internalized and pretty soon that external punishment system is replaced with an internal self-regulation system which is a system of self-punishment and self-blame seriously put your gun down really Edward 10. Start me another one. this one's really got a gun on me no you don't touch okay. me. You don't touch me. I'm at that address. Start another unit. You don't touch me. Hey, man. No, you don't touch me. When I tell you to take your hand out... I've done nothing. Okay. okay. Nope. You need to relax. You go away. Okay. I don't go away. I stay where I am. You can go in your house if you want, or you can stay out here. I've done nothing. What have I done? I'm, I'm telling you. Answer me. What have I done? Why'd you get out of your vehicle? You're taking a picture of me. I'm taking a picture of you. you take a picture and leave. I don't have to leave. Neither do I. So. You have your gun out because you're a police officer. And you're trying to intimidate me. And this is going all over YouTube. Put it on. This you. is horrible. Trust me, I will. Okay. You I'm guys have done enough to my family. Okay. What's, what, what's wrong with you? Your station is corrupt. Oh, uh, okay. Are you some kind of a constitutionalist? No, sir. Crazy guy or something like that? Is that, your is that what you're going after? Is that where you're going? I'm, I'm Are you throwing claims you. around? I'm asking you. Are you throwing these around? What's that? Are you throwing labels around? Are... Why are you doing this? Why are you sitting here with your gun out and me? This is why I'm doing this. To protect myself from you. Okay. All right. Well, you just stay right in front of me. And then we'll be all fine. Okay? Am I being detained? Have I been accused? Have, are you accusing me of a crime? Are you suspecting me of a crime? If I did, I would arrest you. Okay? So, go ahead and have a nice day. Put it on YouTube. I don't really care. I will, sir. Okay. The best defense against the system is to video record criminality and post it to YouTube as well as anywhere else you can post it. If you live in an area where they have made recording the cops illegal, there are still some legal loopholes you can use to be able to do it anyways. Disclaimer! I am not a lawyer and this is not legal advice, so take this as my opinion and do your own research. Though public humiliation by revealing the identity of the criminal cop is a powerful and much needed deterrent, it is not the most important aspect of recording these events. The most important aspect is spreading awareness that there is a problem that needs to be addressed. Too many people still have a romanticized Hollywood movie perspective of police officers. The reality is, just like the rest of us humans, there are good cops and not so good cops. The idea that only good people get hired as police officers is a myth. It is not illegal to have a home-based security system. It is also not illegal to live stream or put the recorded records of that video online for the public to see. It is your property, you are allowed to do it. As long as you have a sign on your property posted publicly that you have a video security system, and that records of that system may be made available online to the public, then you don't have to let the cops know that the sign is there. It is their own problem if they happen to not see it. 
you posted public notice, so if the cops want to perform their antics on your recording system, they are legally consenting to do so. It's the same way when you walk into a grocery store or gas station that has video security systems. It applies to police every bit as much as it applies to the rest of the general public. When you shop at a store, you are on private property. If you are not on your property and you wish to use a portable recording device, if you can get away with doing candid camera, more power to you. Otherwise, simply know that an audio recording is good enough. Before you upload your recording to YouTube, edit the audio using the Audacity Audio Editor, which is a free and open source editing software, so it won't cost you anything. Bleep out any information spoken that might lead back to you as being the person who made the recording. Use the pitch filter, as well as any other filters that can assist you with voice distortion, and make sure that your voice is unrecognizable, while also making sure that what you are saying is still clearly able to be understood. Then you can act as if you are merely re-uploading a video to YouTube that you just so happen to find. You don't have to take credit for the video. It is not illegal to upload videos of police to YouTube simply just because you might live in a city or state that has made recording the police illegal. The law states that it is illegal for you to do the recording. It does not state that it is illegal for you to upload videos that other people have created. You will find no remedy in our current corrupt criminal justice system that does exactly what it sounds like, allows justice only for the criminals who run the system. Therefore, make sure you monetize the videos you upload to your YouTube channel. The system is not going to compensate you for the harassment you've experienced. The system is there to harass you, it is not there to help you. Sometimes the system does help some people, because there are some helpful, kind people working within the system, but those people are the exceptions, not the rule. Just because exceptions exist does not mean that the rule does not exist. The rule very much exists, and it is not your friend. Again, I will remind you that everything I've just said is my own personal opinion, based on my own research. I am not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. Do your own research, use discernment, look before you leap, and don't do something stupidly. The system is more than happy and willing to try to screw you on any tiny technicality, so please proceed with caution.